Hello and welcome to Let's Invest Right. Uh, guys, with me is Essen again. Essen, uh, in our previous video, uh, we have discussed a lot about uh, uh, electric vehicles. We have discussed about oil and gas, whatever is happening, especially this week. Uh, we have seen market surging in a, in, a, in a very good way, the way we predicted in the last video. What would you like to say about it? First of all, tell us something about uh, uh, how you found this week? Uh, was it up to your expectations or or not that much as you were expecting? Well, Farooq, uh, thank you, first of all. Uh, if you remember what I was saying, the market would go up because it was going down and down. And uh, with the increase in pandemic and uh, with elections coming up, it was expected to go up in this week. That's why if you remember, I was saying I was holding uh, cash, some cash and would be investing next week, which I have done. And uh, as, I, as you were asking about the electric EV industry, the EV industry is, I have already said in my video, in the Tesla video, the EV industry will define the next decade. It's, it will define the automobile industry. And uh, well, uh, with new players coming in, like uh, Neo, like Xpeng, like Lee Autos, and uh, even the traditional companies are moving towards EV industry. That's, that, that shows like uh, how the industry, how important is the industry and this will define the future of automobile industry. As in, uh, we have uh, like, of course, the overall market was uh, uh, was on a very right direction. It was uh, improving and it improved a lot. We have uh, recorded some gains in this week, uh, which was expected. But the way EV industry has shown its performance, uh, especially the Chinese electric vehicle manufacturers, like Neo, like X Bank, like Lee, they have really uh, given up some solid results, and uh, the figures have again given them a substantial uh, growth uh, perspective for the for the investors. And we would be discussing uh, solely on um, electric vehicles, especially for these two companies, Neo and X Bank, because last two days itself we have seen. In Xpeng, the growth was more than 35% in just two days. And uh, in Neo also, it was like uh, just just two weeks ago, it was $29. Uh, and now it uh, yesterday, the market closed at $42. Uh, of yeah. course, we would be expecting some kind of retracement. So let's let's see. What, what do you say about Neo right now? I know we have discussed it earlier as well about this. Uh, company with a, such a great potential. So for uh, well, new has been going up, and with the way the cars are delivered, and so if you look at the news, look at the reasons behind why it's going up and why it's like uh, jumping, not it's going like a vertical uh, way. So the reasons behind uh, it, it reported its delivery in October. The company reported around hundred percent delivery. Uh, year on year, so it delivered around five thousand, more than five thousand units, approximately five thousand fifty-five units. So that's a massive gain versus last year. So it's almost doubling it. And uh, plus, if you look we at have the, seen uh, if if we can discuss a bit about uh, some some facts about this company, uh, mm -hmm. which we have shared on our screen right now for our subscribers and our viewers. Uh, like the previous even the close was thirty-seven point seven one and. Uh, Yesterday it closed. The day's range was forty-two point four nine. So, can you explain a bit about its uh, its data? What we can we can see the tremendous uh, growth of this stock and something about this. For sure. Well, uh, so, if you look at the one month price or even the six months price, the price was, uh, if I'm not wrong, it was uh, around uh, like ten dollars six months back. Uh, in fact, six seven dollars. So, at that time, I was saying that uh, it would be a great opportunity for everyone to invest in this. And uh, if you remember, I've been like emphasizing from the price when the price was around eight dollars that this would be the next Tesla. This will define the EV industry. See, only one player, if it's there, like uh, initially it was Tesla there only. It would not have like uh, provide the. It would may not be able to like define the overall industry. So as new players are coming up, like new, like Xpeng, and with increased deliveries of these, this will uh, this will change the future. So if you talk about like right now, if you see from, as you mentioned, like uh, in a week or so, the price was around 29 and jumped to like 42 in this year. Even yesterday, the price jumped around 12%. So what is, uh, as if you look at the fundamentals, what what is defining this? 
So the company is now planning to enter Europe markets. Um, right now, it's all operating in Chinese market, and with the elections and with new opportunities coming up, with improved relation between China and US, this uh, the company like New and Xpeng would be able to enter markets like USA, uh, North American regions, which would give a massive gain. So Essen, now, the only problem but, is sorry to interrupt. The only problem is you know as you can see the pre market rates as of now where we have around uh, six hours or five hundred five point five hours remaining to start uh, to start the last session of the week. But we mm -hmm. can see of course there is a drop of six point seven three percent right now in the pre market. Now if if mm -hmm. one want to enter, people are thinking it's too late right now. You know it it surged from twenty nine like uh, if we can see in the same graph. It was trading mm -hmm. at 21.41 on 13th of October, which is not okay. very far, you know. And now yesterday it, it traded around like it closed at 42.49. Mm -hmm. So you know, of course, it's not a dividend-paying uh, company. It's a growth stock. It has got a lot of potential. There are rumors that it will be starting very soon in Europe, and uh, with the new uh, government uh, formation in US, with the Biden's uh, regime, of course, they they would like. Uh, as as you are aware that you know they are much into the the greener energy and of course it will it will also give a boost to this industry as well but my question precisely is that right now I, I, we can see in this market maybe when the market starts it would again be uh, where it closed yesterday and it would again see the surge of this stock but right now we can see we have, it started to uh, uh, retrace now again it's 7.04 percent is it right time to enter when we can see such a great potential of this stock or or to yeah. enter let's wait a bit for the retracement there are two aspects yeah there are two aspects one so since the stock is going at as i said uh, upward direction straight upward like at the rapid pace like day on day it's not even week on week it's every day growing so it's important like maybe you can uh, realize half of the profits and just wait because when it goes exactly in the upward direction it is expected to go down like this like you're seeing the pre market rate at 7% negative because it yesterday increased 12% and even day on day it's been increasing by 5% 3% every day so uh, you cannot expect every day that stock to go up and exactly. uh, people would be thinking, and if with this growth, uh, people would have th thought like they can like resign from their position, like uh, stop their businesses, stop whatever they are doing, and just invest in new. Which is not the way because it, when it goes up, like it is expected to go down. Obviously, it uh, yeah, stocks that's, always that's don't That's what is known as direction. retracement. Uh, in every stock, we Correct. we expect that retracement. But if someone okay. has got this stock for a longer duration, they would definitely wait for it. And this is small retracement doesn't matter. But uh, uh, yeah, sure. it, it makes so make a lot of sense. What what I'll I'll do since the stock is a growth stock and it has jumped at a very high pace. So I'll probably uh, some of my shares I I realized in fact uh, yesterday when we were discussing Farooq offline, uh, we we sold some of our shares uh, and realized our profits. Uh, uh, from new, which around 150 percent approximately, I think. Uh, so uh, some I am still keeping. I'm not like I have only I think around uh, 30 percent, 20 percent we have uh, realized, but still we are keeping. I think the target uh, price we are expecting in the next week or so is around 45, 46. As and we were, were lucky enough to enter or realize this uh, great stock earlier, so we were able to get this much of benefit out of it. The question for a new Entrant is that whether they will be able to make that much profit, or uh, you know, it's already uh, we can see trading at the highest ever uh, trading value. So that is only the point. One more thing, if you can see in in this um, uh, you know website Yahoo Finance that you know the, the it it is being considered as a overvalued stock since it's data is not that much available. What is the price per earning ratio, and you know even earnings are not that much right now. But when we go and look into the news uh, from different uh, uh, channels and you know the media, of course, new surges 14 percent the last week or last two days to record high after doubling its deliveries in October. So this small news would give it a magnifying uh, effect, isn't it? For sure. For when you are looking at uh, investing in a growth stock, you don't look at the profitability. You don't look at the bottom line. You look at the top line. You look at the volumes, how much the volume the company is generating. 
you look at the sales how much the revenue the company is generating because it has so much of fixed cost it will take time for it to go down like uh, to from it will take time from the top line to the bottom line to convert it so exactly exactly so in your view we will we, we, we definitely be investing more in neo however we'll be looking for some retracement to enter back for sure so stock. in the long run so there are two aspects as, as as i was saying see in the short run it will it may go down slightly right but in the long run you can keep on holding it if you look at the even if you go to the previous tab that uh, you were showing on yahoo finance and uh, downwards you will see uh, there is like analyst uh, give their recommendation whether they should be buying it they should be selling it or they should be holding it so most analysts like even in november are saying to hold it like out of eight that have said six five are saying that to hold it while uh, um, uh, two are saying to buy it there is one uh, one of the analysts is saying it's a strong buy and i think uh, yesterday or day before yesterday uh, after the market closes it was city group which gave it Correct. a buy rating and which again yes. helped this stock to grow a lot Yes, and the target price was around forty four, forty five, if I'm not wrong. So yes, exactly. uh, that's what, yeah. Uh, and with the with the sentiments, uh, with the trend going up, I think it's not that far away that the price would even go beyond forty five. Yeah, I mean, in my in my view, definitely it would touch fifty very soon. If not today, then the start of the next week. Uh, but there are many factors. It's not only news performance. It's not only it's it, it's being a growth stock. Also, overall market reacting to. the elections uh, in us and so many different aspects but yes we could see a bit of a retracement because these growth stocks no matter how uh, fast or exponentially they grow the same we can see the retracements as well with a small news we could see uh, a sudden drop in the market after hours and you cannot do anything but yes if you have a horizon long horizon for this stock uh, to be kept in your portfolio that would be something else sure for sure and if you see the initiatives from the government like us government is now planning to like around their uh, like increase the electric vehicle stations to around half a million uh, so uh, you can see the trend the trend is we can see the trends by uh, by viewing the the policies of the the old uh, or the the car manufacturers like gm or the other companies who are also stepping in to the manufacturing of electric vehicles because they have analyzed yeah. that this is the trend this is the upcoming requirement of uh, of everyone yeah gm and ford have announced like uh, they will be starting their ev ev models soon so in fact they have already started the work so so the only expect, good uh, news anyone would like to be uh, waiting for uh, would be that uh, new to enter into a new market which would be maybe europe at the beginning or a uh, us market as soon as possible and then this uh stock would definitely be having a lot of potential again uh as an as let's uh, now discuss something about uh, its its competitor which is xbank uh which is also in the news from last few days it's been doing tremendously uh better than any other stock uh, just yesterday itself it was more than 25% day before yesterday around more than 20% like it is also doing really really fabulous right yeah so again uh, yesterday the uh, xpeng stock jumped around 31% 30.9% so that's massive again th- uh, there are many factors behind this the way the company has been performing the deliveries as the company continues to deliver more and more uh, as i'm saying these are growth stocks so growth stocks you look at the top line you look at the volume you look at the revenues of these companies you don't look at the overall profitability in terms of profitability it would take uh, the company maybe two or three years to become achieve the break even so uh, xpeng has a long way to go like new both of these companies will define the ev industry along with tesla obviously so yeah that is true that is true in the market if you see its growth like in in the month of october just the last month it was trading on an average 20 in in 20s right and suddenly i mean in just last two days we would say in last two trading or last two to three trading days it has gone uh, exponentially up so what is the reason behind this you know what what do you see is there any specific news uh, what we can discuss Again, yes 
so as i said uh, it's the volume so in the month of october when they rely uh, when they release the news that uh, the delivery of uh, the vehicles the company uh, announced that they uh, delivered 3040 vehicles in the month of october only which is an increase of 229% so and year to date basis if you look at it they delivered around 17000 uh, automobiles ev mobiles which is an increase of 64% so year on year the company is delivering more with the demand increasing of ev industry it's expected to, to go up and up and again similarly if you look at the uh, like new the market is retracing now when the price went up suddenly it is expected to go uh, down slightly so uh, again the, the similar data right. for even this is stock today uh, since yesterday it surged more than 30% today we can expect Uh, a fair level of retracement in this stock and then uh, we don't have much data for available for this stock since it's very young uh, we don't have pe ratio we don't have more uh, fundamentals available for this stock even a small uh, surge in their production levels would make it a great news for investors and a very positive news and vice versa uh, as and there was one news uh, which we were discussing earlier uh, it was uh, regarding a uh, launch of you know some some kind of a revolutionary uh, uh transporting line car yeah can you discuss a bit about that sure sure so xpeng is announcing like a new a new uh, what you can say a, a revolution as you said an innovation which is a flying vehicle so this could be used as a taxi this could be used as a different for different purposes so uh, the company has already started and they announced in uh, i think end of september somewhere Yeah, uh, yeah. so uh, it's a it's a revolutionary even if you look at the videos and how the comp- how this uh, car with the two seater model is going up and it's defining it's amazing it's an amazing technology and if this uh, again if this goes live like and become the norm this this could change the automobile industry thank you very much asan and uh, hope that a lot of investors could get benefit uh from uh, entering into these great stocks uh, expang and uh, neo however uh, it's just an advice this is just kind of uh, uh, our our own uh, experience from this stock which has been really good for us uh, it's it's very important for you guys to do your due diligence and uh, study for this stock uh, and there is always a right time to enter into a stock and there is always a right time to exit from that stock a great so many great companies uh, you know when you enter into those companies at a wrong uh, with the wrong timing you you won't make money but you will be losing it and uh, but however whenever there is a trend you should follow that trend and uh, you should you should be able to take advantage thank you very much thank you asan thank you for joining us thank you.